In this session, I'm going to briefly talk about how you can um, enable jQuery quite easily on a SharePoint um, site. So if you're at your SharePoint site and you're trying to run a jQuery uh, function, just to get a like uh, area saying that I'm missing a reference to jQuery, or it finds that jQuery is unknown. So what uh, a lot of blocks do talk about is that you go ahead and download jQuery, install it, or upload your file to your, your SharePoint site and, and make a script reference so you're able to access uh, the jQuery framework. Well, there's another way you can do this uh, just to get familiar with jQuery to see if it's something for you. You'll go ahead and go on, on your favorite search engine and uh, go ahead and search for jQuery book mark oh sorry and there are a couple of versions out there so i'm just making sure that i'm able to find the latest version so i'll end up at uh, learningjquery.com and i think this might be the latest version well the thing to notice or to look for is the bookmarklet which will be just a link that you will click and drag up to your favorite bar like this. So when I press this link, it's going to try to make this page uh, jQuery enable. In this case, I probably bet that the this page or this site is already enabled uh, to use jQuery. Let's just press to see what happens. And that's so true. But my uh, SharePoint site is probably not jQuery enabled. So, just press the button, and there you go. So I'm going to rerun the query, and let me just say that I'm using Firebug. If you haven't noticed, that's a must-have tool, and I am in uh, Firefox. That will be your favorite, uh, or might be one of your favorite editors, actually, to modify SharePoint. So, I'm able to get a bunch of input fields here. Let's just see how many. 21. If I do like this, I just get a clear console every time. 21 input fields. So there's a, probably a bunch of hidden fields here for view state and stuff like that. But if I go and look at the search field up here, I will see that it has an ID that I might find quite useful when I need to select that. And let's just manipulate the text in the search field so notice it's empty around the query and it fills in the text here so that's like a brief introduction of how you can jQuerify uh, your SharePoint site quite easily you can do your development down development down here in um, the console box and when you're happy with this you can go ahead and make your impl implementation with the uh, with jQuery so thank you for looking at this cast